a pleasure to be in Tokyo. It's um, finding very inspirational. So uh, thank you for for uh, coming. Uh, I will. Talk, my talk is about exploring technology as a material, and uh, it's kind of the emotional part of technology. What uh, what we want to see what can design be due to, to technology. Interactive Institute is an organization that uh, combines art design and ICT. And it's kind of a crossroad. We, we have a lot of different disciplines. Uh, there are researchers, artists, designers working together. And during these 10 years of uh, in a way, challenging status quo, because that's what we're trying to do in the project. Is everything from exhibitions to research projects, and at the moment I'm working with a sailing boat that's going to sail the oceans. And, and today I'm going to show you some projects that kind of narrate uh, the status, or the, the story in that sense of uh, technology as a material. I think during these 10 years when we have been working, there have been a shift between technology as a solution to technology as a way to tell a story. And I, I will show you some examples on projects we've done. Uh, this is one of my favorite projects still. Uh, it's, it's getting quite old now, it's about 10 years, and uh, uh, it's a game and you compete in relaxation. So the one that's our most relaxed will get this ball over to the other side. So it's a game about doing nothing. <laughs> so it's quite interesting that it's so interesting to look at people doing nothing. And I find it still very interesting to see that people are interested in that. And of course what it does is that it shows something that's hidden. And that is something that technology is very good at. It show things that we don't know. And for example, in this case, it's used the brain waves. Another, another project, uh, another area that we've been working a lot is uh, energy awareness and uh, showing electricity to people. Uh, this is a hot topic, of course, because energy is on the, on the global, global map of how do we change our behavior and also how do we work with our dependency to energy. Uh, this project is very, very direct. It is a, a traditional power cord that you see here. And you will see the direct representation of the electricity that goes through the cord. So if you put a, uh, if you put a stereo into the cord, you will see the base, because the base is eating more, uh, more electricity than the rest of the speaker. And this is an area we've been investigating the last seven years. And it's, I think it, it is quite interesting because it, we all have a very personal relationship to electricity um, in one way. On the other way, we don't have a, any relationship at all because it's just two, two, uh, two holes in the wall. So this is an, uh, um, this is an area that, that we are investigating more and more, and uh, we will see where we eventually end up in this. Uh, this project got uh, on the list for um, the 50th most interesting projects on Time magazine this year. So we're very proud of that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, another one, um, we all plugging into the fascination of uh, uh, medical forensic or forensic medical and this one is called virtual autopsy um, actually visuals from this project have been on CSI so <laughs> it kind of goes both ways It's both the illusion and the real thing so what you see here is a, a medical visualization tool and what we have done is to create the pro uh, create this uh, uh, interactive part that takes the volumetric data from the MR machine and then you can do a virtual autopsy. So you can basically do the, the autopsy standing in a group around this table and see what happened. And in this case, 
uh, you saw there was a broken leg. And then you can change filters. And there you see the bone structures. And then let's put on some uh, vessels. There you have the blood vessels. And then you back again to the skin layer. So this is, uh, I think, one, one interesting thing with these projects is also that what we are trying to do is kind of make these technologies possible for everybody to, to um, engage in them as well. I think one final word for this kind of fascination with technologies that is it has a very big potential to be a very democratic, uh, democratic tool. And it's also uh, very good of uh, showing what's hidden as shown in this project. Thank you very much.